functions. Now, you probably already know what a function is, but today we're going to be looking at two types of functions, composite and inverse functions. So first of all, what is a composite function? Well, let's say we have f of x equals 2x plus 3. Now let's say g of x is 3x plus 4. So now what is f of g of x? Well, it might help to know that you can actually plug in variables to these sorts of equations. So, for example, if I plug the g of x to f of x, I would be plugging in 3x plus 4. So where do I put that 3x plus 4? Well, remember that if f of 6, say, is 2 times 6 plus 3, then that means that f of g of x, or f, of 3x plus 4 should be 2 times what you put in the parentheses plus 3. So that means that f of g of x is, now all you need to do is simplify, which you definitely already know how to do at this point. It's basic algebra. So, that's a composite function. So, these composite functions can be tricky sometimes. So, for example, let's say we have f of x is x squared plus 2x plus 3, and g of x is 2x plus 1. So, f of g of x would be 2x plus 1 whole squared plus 2 times 2x plus 1 plus 3. So, you have to multiply 2x plus 1 by itself. I'm just going to uh, multiply them quickly using that method. 2x, 2x1. So this gives us 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 plus 4x plus 2 plus 3. So that means that f of g of x in this situation is equal to 4x squared plus 8x plus 6. This, in which case you would be correct. However, what we're talking about is, let's say we have this here. This is not equal to this which is what we're really talking about. So inverse functions are essentially when you change things around. So for example, if you have f of x is x squared, its inverse function is the square root of x. Basically, if you plug in one number to an equation, then taking that result will give you back the number you just got. So you can essentially find this by changing around the positions of x and f of x. So it's really simple. That's all about functions. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one where we'll talk about arithmetic and geometric sequences.